Uh, my question is, uh, why is the start date of the new measures April 7th? Might this not cause a rush for people who still want to eat in restaurants, etc.? Uh, secondly, what does it mean that most workplaces will close? Will they break any laws if they refuse to close um, at the designated date? Thirdly, uh, based on our home-based learning experience on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week, how many students are likely to need to go to school when the full home-based learning starts next Wednesday? And finally, uh, with all this in place, I have to ask, um, is there a further set of measures you can put in place the equivalent of, as we've been saying, to convey at this point? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, could you repeat your second questions because we couldn't uh, hear it clearly? Uh, sure. So my question, second question was on workplaces. When you say that most workplaces would close, um, what does this mean? Will they be breaking any laws if they do not close? And what are the penalties? Thank you. Uh, let me say first uh, categorically that we are not in DOSCON rate. And currently, we are in DOSCON orange. And all the measures that we mentioned were measures that we can introduce during uh, DOSCON uh, orange. And we will continue to do so. And these measures will help us to slow down the transmission and slow down the number of cases. And this will help us avoid having the need to go to DOSCON rate. At the same time, we also have further measures that we can introduce, and we will have to dis uh, look at the situation, how it evolves. As I've explained before, uh, our response is always based on the uh, situation which continue to develop, and we will monitor the situation and decide what else do we need to do in, in, in time to come. But currently, this set of measures are very significant measures. This is a very important step that we are moving forward. In fact, we, are, uh, uh, we understand that this set of measures already will create significant inconvenience and disruption to daily lives, daily routines. And we ask Singaporeans to bear with us and support these measures, observe the spirit of these measures, and that is to really increase the safety distance between individuals. We know we, human beings uh, are, uh, need a social contact, but for the next four weeks, please help us by maintaining social distance so that we are able to uh, slow down the transmission significantly. I think that's the key objective of the measures that we are putting in place uh, uh, today.